The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Caleb Mullen, and at a combined weight of 466 pounds, the lunatic Colt Elliott. Plenty of star and power in this tag Jester team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Justin. Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask the me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. Both lead men are in the ring and set to start things off here. Oh, man. We're ready to go. Close line. Ooh, what impact. Caught. Oh, I might have just shattered their face. Beautiful technique. Tag. Opponent off the ropes. Unceremoniously deposited down. What a stop. Good grief. Suplex. Oh. German suplex spiked. He's taking some offense. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It's no secret that quick oh. tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. Elbow drop! Right to the heart. What a stomp! Good grief! This might be it! Oh my! to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Vertical suplex! Nice! Harsh impact! He's starting to stumble here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense oh, soon. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. It looks to me like he took his foot off the gas there for a moment. When that happens, you run the risk of letting your opponent back into the match. Oh, 
right to the back. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Ooh, nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination in Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton ball by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double count. When a superstar in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Oh boy, he is rolling. Wow, elbow! Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any mo- Looking at it here. Rough landing. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Let's check this out again, Corey. So effective, Cole. Brutal face buster. Beautiful technique. The slam. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh my gosh, what a dive. He knows he's in trouble. Long way up in the electric drop from above. This one's over, guys. Someone's gonna be black and blue tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at that again. That could be it, Michael. that in the worst way, Michael. Harsh impact. Oh, what a splash! This capacity crowd starting to set. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Just when you thought it was over, wow! I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh boy, he is rolling. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a strike. Lariat. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. The team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag. They're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, he's looking at it. He might have it. Oh, man, what a 
Strike! This might be it! Oh my! Moonsault! Focused attack on the back! Oh! Oh, nasty impact! Hooked him up! Slam down hard! He has him right where he wants him. Here he goes! Quick thinking to avoid that one. Oh boy, he is rolling! Boom, impact! He's that wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. He's about to get bad. You gotta believe this one's over! challenges in a very long time. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Tagged in. His shoulders are down. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. A oh, human torture rack. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Not even close. What a stop. Good grief. This is what makes him so dangerous. He might have it. Dodges a bullet there. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. And he got a near fall out of it. I'm impressed. Oh boy, he is rolling. Out on the apron. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Look at this. What's he doing? Bringing it back between the ropes. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Long way up in the electric... Oh, incredible height. That has got to be it. Wow, let's see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. Shoulders on the back. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here are your winners, the lunatic Colt Elliott and the jester Jay Justice, the Brotherhood. Big win here in tag team action tonight. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. What a great tag team match. Thanks for watching, everybody.